everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my version of the Guyanese style fried rice recipe and also I just want to take a moment to shout out Matthew from Matthew's Guyanese Cooking because he's also doing a fried rice recipe today that he's posting to his channel because we're actually doing this video in collaboration with each other, okay? He posts lots of different Guyanese foods as well as American foods and his stuff looks really really good. So I'm just going to put the link to his YouTube as well as his Instagram in the description box below so you can definitely check it out. He's also, just a side note, and no he didn't pay me to say this, he's actually been such a supportive friend as I begin my culinary journey and all of the videos that I've been posting. So def a great person, def a great cook, and you should check him out. Anyhow, with all of that being said, let's just jump right into my recipe. So I'm going to begin by cooking my rice. I put a quarter of a cup of oil inside of my rice cooker before adding my two cups of basmati rice. After this, I added three and a half cups of hot water to my rice to help it cook. I'm now going to add one tablespoon of fried rice seasoning and one tablespoon of MSG. And just to note, all of the ingredients, measurements, and links to the seasonings that I'm going to be using are in the description box below. Now I'm going to give my rice a nice stir and leave it to cook. While it cooks, I'm going to move on to marinating my chicken. I've cut my chicken breast into small pieces and I'm going to marinate it with 1 tablespoon of buffalo chicken seasoning, 1 teaspoon of MSG, 1 teaspoon of Chinese spice, 1 teaspoon of fried rice seasoning, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and 1 tablespoon of blended up garlic, onion, and pepper. Now I'm going to add my wet ingredients by going in with 1 teaspoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and one teaspoon of sweet soy sauce. I'm now gonna go in with some black pepper and give all of those seasonings and sauces a good stir so they can marinate into the chicken to give it a nice flavor. I'm also gonna add a small piece of chopped up ginger to my chicken as well. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, that is a whole lot of sauce and a whole lot of seasonings. But honestly, the addition of all these ingredients really do work together to give you a very flavorful chicken fried rice. Now that my chicken is done marinating and my rice is done cooking, we can move on to creating our fried rice. Now that my oil is hot, I'm going to add my chicken, giving it a nice stir and then allowing it to cook for five minutes covered on a low heat. Next, I'm going to add my vegetables, starting with my carrots because they take the longest to cook. Then I'm going to add my long green beans, referred to in Guyana as bora, and then my corn. I'm going to give all of those ingredients a stir and then cover my pot and allow it to cook on a low heat for two minutes. Now at this point, I'm going to add my red sweet peppers and then my rice. I'm going to stir that all together before adding some green onions and some chopped up chili peppers. Now after tasting my fried rice, I added a half a teaspoon more of my Chinese spice and one more teaspoon of the dark soy sauce. But this is just based upon my taste buds and whether or not you want to add more of a particular seasoning or sauce is up to you. Okay guys, there you have it, your Guyanese styled chicken fried rice. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and that you try it out at home. I think it's pretty easy to execute and it makes for a delicious meal. As always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, turn on your post notifications, and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.